going to slide the car. We're going to hold that button down. And then, boom, guns out. Look Screw at that. You. I absolutely love this mod. What is going on, beautiful people? Your boy, Jeffrey Gamer, back at you with another LSPDFR tutorial. And today, folks, I have a mod that I swear to God, I was just thinking about this the other day. Have you ever been in a pursuit or you, you arrive on a scene where somebody's shooting and you get out of your car and you just want to have your gun out, but you have to go to your weapon wheel? Well... This mod is going to eliminate that, folks. Yes, this mod will have your guy getting out of the car, automatically pulling out his weapon when you want it to, okay? When you want it to. I'm super excited to put this in and try it out. I have not done it yet. I am going to be doing it for the first time with y'all. Let's get into it. There's two mods we're gonna need. We're gonna need the fast draw mod and we need community script hook v.net, all right? We are going to be installing both of those right now. First thing I want you to do is click that link down below that says Fast Draw. That's going to bring you to this page right here. This mod was just released on Tuesday. And uh, big, huge shout out to Murtu. I think that's his name, Murtu, um, who uh, created this mod. So I am super excited to try this out. Go ahead and click the blue download this file and then you're just going to agree and download and it will start downloading for you the next link i want you to click down below is the script hook v as you can see right here it does say uh right here uh fast draw is a simple script hook v.net script that allows draw pull so we do need that. So go ahead and click the link down below that says scripthookv.net. It's gonna bring you here. Now when you click this download button, it's gonna take you to a separate page. Don't worry, this page is totally safe. All right, and you see scripthookv.net, volume 3.1.0. Just scroll down to you see scripthookv.net.zip. All right, click that, should download pretty quick. Yeah, look at that, super quick. All right, we're gonna close that and minimize that now we are all set we can exit out of our web browser let's go ahead and bring up our main directory this is going to be for steam by the way and what you're going to want to do is go to your local disk drive that you have your uh, gta installed through program files times 86 steam steam apps and com oops not that one common <laughs> in here you're going to see all your grand theft auto folders okay Mine are not in here. I have mine in a separate drive. Go ahead and double click whatever Grand Theft Auto folder you are going to install this into. All right, and I'm gonna get to mine. Uh, Steam Library, Steam Apps, and Common. Here's mine right here. I'm gonna click on this one. If you only have one, just double click that one. And then this is what I like to call the main directory front page, all right? This is where your ELS folder, your plugins folder, your mods folder, all that is gonna be right here, okay? All right, first thing we want to do is let's go ahead and install the script hook v.net. All right, so bring up your script hook v.net and let me see which version that I have. Let me see what version I have. Oh, this quant v saves all of these. I have to go in there and I have to change this. This quant v saves all of these screenshots and I forgot to, I forgot to take that off. Sorry to waste you guys' time with this. Sorry about that. All right. So here's my script hook v.net. Uh, that one doesn't say it. Let me see. Come on. File version 2.10.13. Oh, so I think I was due for, a, for an updated version. Okay. So we have our script hook v.net. We are on our front page here again with the mods folder and all that. These are the ones that you are going to want to select. You're going to want to select this one here, scripthookv.net.asi. Holding in your control key, you're going to go down here to scripthookv.net2.dll. 
and go down here to scripthookv.net3.dll. All right, we do not need these XMLs or the INI. We really don't need that. You just want the ASI and the two DLLs, the two and the three DLL. All right, once you got those highlighted, left click, drag them to your buffer zone right here and drop them in. All right, if it tells you to replace, go ahead and replace it. It's okay. All right, and uh, scriptedv.net is installed. Now let's go ahead and bring up our fast draw mod right here. There we go. Let's go ahead and we're still on the front page here of the main directory. Go ahead and double click the flat, the flash, the fast draw. All right, then we're gonna click the GTA folder and there's scripts, okay? This is going to be a scripts. All right, fastdraw.dll. Now, if you already have a scripts folder like I do, and I, you can see I got the stuff inside the scripts folder, you're gonna double click the scripts folder and double click your scripts folder in your main directory. All right, and you're just simply gonna take this fastdraw.dll and drop it right into your scripts folder, just like that. If you do not have a scripts folder on your front page, main directory front page, like I do, under your plugins and above your update, you are not just gonna drop this in, you're gonna go back and you're gonna drag this scripts folder in and drop it, okay? And it will create a new scripts folder with this mod inside of it. And folks, easy as making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. That is it, we can exit out of the WinRAR, we can exit out of our main directory. And um, I did. I, it did show me how to uh, work the mod. So let's jump into the game and let's check it out. I'll see y'all in there. All right, everybody, so here we are in the game. And what you're gonna wanna do is whatever button you use to exit your vehicle. Now, if you're using a controller, it's gonna be your Y button or your triangle button if you're using a PlayStation controller. Um, your exit, your car vehicle, is it the X button? No. What is it? It's one of these. Is it V? No. It's not C. One of these buttons, what is it? There it is. It is your F button. Now, you see the way he got out of the car? He doesn't, he didn't, because I only tapped it. Now, if I hit the F key, right? We're going, we're going. There's somebody up there that's shooting. We kind of, you know, we want to, you know, we're sliding our car and we hold in that F key. Now, if you hold it in, boom, there he is. He's pulling out his gun. Look at that. Now, here is, let's, let's try this. Now we're going to try it with the controller, right? Let me see something here. That's another trick you can do too. Before you get in your cop car, pull your gun out and then get in your cop car. That way now every time you get out, although you don't wanna be on a traffic stop and just pull it out, right? So that's like super unrealistic. So this mod is absolutely awesome. All right, so we get out of the car normal with our triangle button or our Y, I'm using the Xbox, so it's a Y button, right? You, didn't, you saw he didn't pull his gun out. Now if I go, right? There's some suspects right there. I'm gonna slide the car. We're gonna hold that button down. And then boom, guns out. Look at that. I absolutely love this mod. I am in love with this mod. It is going in all of my GTA files. This to me is a must have mod. It's a must have mod. Um, I just think it's absolutely phenomenal. So folks, get you this mod in the game, I promise. You will not regret it. If you like what you see here and you're new, do your boy a favor and hit that subscribe button and smash the shit out of that like button or dislike. As long as you give me some sort of feedback on my videos, I'm happy with a thumbs up or down. Um, only question I ask is if you give me a thumbs down, tell me why, y'all. Tell me why so I can make my channel better for your pleasure. Um, and ring that bell so you know when new content is added. This mod is super, super simple, y'all. Go ahead, put it in your game. Until next time, be safe, be healthy, be positive. Follow the rules and obey the law. Your boy Jeffrey Gamer's out. Later, y'all.